God just kind of said, Robert, sit quiet. The truth does come out. An exclusive. Actor Robert Blake takes 48 hours inside his world. And I pick up my phone. Hello? You said a Cartier? He's ah, out ah, on bail. The judge said, it's OK, Robert. Your foot can go over there, and the sheriffs won't come and get you. Facing trial for the murder of his wife, Bonnie Lee Bakley. The man that I know couldn't do that. Defended by his Hollywood friends. I've known him to be a very generous, gentle human being. She's a deadly sweetness. She was the kind of a sweet you wouldn't want to taste. Bonnie Bakley had a reputation and a plan to become famous at any cost. This is Bonnie's address book. Warren Beatty, Robert De Niro, Peter Fonda. Even Marlon Brando's son warned her she'd gone too far. Not on my behalf, but you're lucky somebody ended out there to pull a book bullet in your head. She had any number of people who she ruined who are capable of doing this crime. Peter Van Sant asks, is Blake innocent of murder or playing the role of his life? 48 Hours investigates. Isn't it possible that someone else did this? Nope. Not possible. Robert Blake. Grab your coat and get your hat. And leading the fight will be Blake's new attorney, Tom Mizero. Bonnie, for most of her adult life, ran a Lonely heart scam. And she had any number of people who she ruined who are capable of doing this crime. They've concocted a scenario that has nothing to do with reality. Blake's attorney, Tom Mesero, says the allegation that Blake shot Bonnie in front of his favorite Italian restaurant is preposterous. If you're going to believe them, Robert Blake committed a murder in full view of everyone who saw him for 15 years. He would have had to do something so thoroughly ridiculous and insane that it makes no sense. And it didn't happen. Blake did carry a gun the night of the murder. He was carrying a gun because Bonnie was scared of somebody. She asked him to carry a gun. But forensic tests have confirmed it is not the murder weapon. That gun was found in a dumpster near the crime scene. There is no forensic or physical evidence whatsoever that links Robert Blake to the murder weapon or this homicide. The implication is Blake thought the phone card was untraceable and that if he was plotting a murder of his wife and wanted to use these men in that murder, he thought police could never track it back to him. They have no proof of that. They have no witnesses to say that and they have no case.